All right. Rolling that ball. Ooh. Up and down. The fingers and then the palm. And the pads to the pinky. And I'm going to skip the thumb because I jammed it playing ball last night. But go ahead and do it. And I had a shingrix vaccine this morning. Go across the knuckles. So my left arm is killing me. I will do my best to do what we're doing. We're going to do leg exercises today, <laughs> surprisingly. All right. Let's um, take the ball in one hand and squeeze. And the other hand, one. And back to the first. And over to the other one. Now let's go around the back. Switch. 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 Switch one more time. Hello, Suzanne. And we'll put it through the legs. Switch. 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 Yeah, let's leave it on the floor. Assess the feet. Ankles, knees, hips. Make a note of it. Press on the ball three times. Come on up to the knuckles. Press down once. Roll it across the knuckles. Bring the ball to the middle of the foot and then wiggle the toes. Bring the ball to the crease between the knuckles and the toes and press your toes into the ball. Come on up, separate the toes. Press them into the ball again. And come to the middle of the foot and wiggle. Three, two, one, scribble. And let's go to the other foot. After reassessing the difference, right in the middle of the ball. One, two, three, knuckles, Screw across the knuckles. Put in the middle of the ball and wiggle. I don't know if you notice, I always notice that my left toes wiggle more easily than the right. Can't tell you why. 
and bring the ball to the crease and scrunch. Let go, separate the toes. Scrunch again. Back to the middle of the foot and wheel. Three, two, one, and scribble. And release, get the ball out of the way, reassess, and shake the tree. Centering and twisting at the waist, swing in the arms. Center. Deep breath and do some ocean wave breathing. Fingers and thumb and face and spine, stepping out together in starlight. And center, go the other way. Center, 2D press. We'll march in place. Or oh, dog. So today we're going to do the standing uh, leg and core exercises in the main class. Some restorative flow yoga, another way of saying yin yoga, I guess, in the F class. No squats involved. Do whatever you'd like to get the heart rate going. Do 
being picking it up just a little or not at all. Okay. I think I'll sprint in five, four, three, two, one. One, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, and twenty five. Two deep breaths. Interlacing those fingers. And right up overhead. Reaching for the sky. Bending back if you can. Coming back to center. Bending in one direction. And then the other. Come back to center, bring the hands down to the chest. <clears throat> Push out, separate those scapula. Come down. Press down. Interlace the fingers behind the back and come up. Squeezing the scapula together. It is up and back. Raise it up a little bit more. And come down. Shrug. And roll back. And roll forward. Extend the arms and rotate. Reverse direction. One palm down, one palm up, flip flop. Yeah, and bring it off across the body. Press it at the elbow. Other arm. On behind the back, pressing down. Other arm. Grab the opposite elbows and lock back and forth. Rotate the neck. Other direction. Nod. Go ear to shoulder. Look up. Look down.
Over one shoulder. And then the other. Let's do a side lunge. Other direction. Come back to center, hinge at the waist, drop the arms far enough. Stretch the hamstrings, keep the spine neutral. Come on up, turn to one direction, press back on the heel, throw the foot in the back. Switch directions, press on the other heel. Yeah, let's come up and grab a stick. We'll do the gym stick routine, starting with putting it behind the back, aligned with the spine, and just moving up and down. Get away from the light here. And then stretch it out behind you. And twist. Switch the position of the hands. Again, align it with the spine. Run it up and down. And stretch it out. Bring it front. Do some, bring it up to the chest. Palms are facing your body, and we'll do some bicep curls. And then switch the position of the palms. Hinge at the waist, head back. Spine neutral, bring the stick up. Your elbows are right by your rib cage. Bring it up to the chest again, or the shoulders really, and press up. And ten. Bring it down all the way, extend your arms straight down and raise your elbows up past your shoulders. Stick comes up close to your body.
Bring the stick behind. We're going to do 10 of these. I'm going to do five with my palms facing away from me and then five facing towards the body. One, two, Switching. And five. Take the stick to the side of the foot. Top hand is pushing away as the bottom hand is pulling in. Switch that side. And then the other side, same thing. Come back to center. Stick is about shoulder high and just push it out. Whoa. Two, three, four. And 10, bring it to the front. We'll go up on our heels and count to 17. Uh, up on our toes, I'm sorry. Two, three. Ten. And now the heels. It really didn't matter if you stayed on your heels. If you did, just go to your toes now. Six, seven. And 20 and come down. All right, so for the um, standing core, for the legs uh, and core routine, you can use a stick if you need it. We're gonna be doing kicks, you may recall. If you don't, stand by a wall perhaps, or a chair or a counter, so you can catch yourself. So we're gonna do 12 kicks, one leg, three, engaging the core the whole time. You don't have to press hard, but again, just as if somebody was about to punch you, the way you tighten up your core muscles, three, four, and 12. We're gonna go straight back. Don't bend your uh, knee. And 12, other leg. Um, we're going to tap going across the one foot on both directions. Four. Other foot.
And now we're going to need do some butt kicks. One, two. And 12, um, we're going to externally rotate the knee again, only go up as high as feels safe for you. And then the other foot, one leg. And now we'll just do some straight knee ups, marching. Alternating. And now we're going to do elbow to knee. You can do it either the same side or cross if you can. Don't have to touch. Total of 24. One, two, or four. Twenty two, twenty three, twenty three, twenty four. All right. Take a breath or two. We're going to do six kicks. See if we see any difference on each leg. And six. Rub those hands together. Cultivate some chi. And form that chi ball. Letting it dance us around. Fully up and down. Ooh, not so much up. Sideways. Yeah, centering. Two deep breaths. And we'll open our hearts. And send it out. Let's 
center, two breaths. Inhale, and bring down heavenly chi on that exhale. Coming down, gather it up. And Aha! Uh -huh. Namaste. Thank you, Tom. You're welcome, Hal. Thank you, Tom. Surely, Nina. Have a great one. For those of you sticking around, we'll do some yin yoga. And I just got to put the timer on here. Regular routine. In 14, 13, meet you on the floor and cat. Let me just turn this up a little. Charles Phillips. Thank 
Why? Oh, 
Thank you, Tom. Hey, Suzanne. You're very welcome. Take care. You too. Thanks, Tom. Jonathan. Thanks, Tom, and have, have a great a good day. One. Al. Okay. Take care. All righty. Ricardo. Oh, stick around. Oh, you muted again. There you go. That's good. How are you? Okay. Let me uh, stop recording.